This is the unboxing of CM Storm Inferno 4000 D DPA mouse. Box, back of the mouse. Mouse box. Side. So, already opened it up, so. This is the mouse. And they have a copper plated USB port. The warranty card. Driver CD. You need this. And let's start it. Let's, go. let's put the mouse on the. Let's put the mouse on the computer. And see how the color looks like. So I plug the mouse on the back of the computer port. So these are the colors. Uh, these are the profile switch, which you have to set on your after you install the driver driver settings. And these are the DPI extra part, extra button of the mouse. We can set the keyboard. That's how it looks like. So this is the CM Storm Inferno. Uh, the mouse settings after you install the driver. So by default, it's gonna be on the CM Storm profile. Mm, you can have to uh, you can have to up to four profiles. This is the default one, and this for part one, two, three. You can change it up into your own settings. And over here, you can these are the DPI levels. Uh, so right now, I'm I'm only using 800 DPI level, and uh, the if I increase, it's gonna be 1,200, 1,600, and 2,500 by 900. Sorry, 3,000. And these are the button assignments on the keyboard. The, this is your left, right, the middle one, uh, and this is the this is where you set the keyboard. You just click on that, and you press on the C, and it is uh, after you press C, you just select the keyboard letter you want to set on the when when you're playing the game. Uh, you can change it up around. You just uh, test it yourself. And they have a rapid fire as well. The on your left, right next to your left button, there's a small button. If you click that one, like suppose if you're playing an FPS game, if you shoot, if you click that button once, it's gonna right now by def on my on my settings, uh, it's only gonna hit like three bullets at a time. If I click once, it's gonna hit three three bullets. And so if you increase that number, it's gonna it's gonna be that times that that many bullets when you when you when you click that button and this is the profile button uh, storm tactics so this is like a combo button so if you go in here and you just add it up like CM storm button and the other and the, the button you want that you want to like and the execution what you want to execute I don't really use it so and if you want to change the color of your mouse you go into shoot style full color breathing if you want to disable it, don't want any color and the rapid fire. Right now, I'm only using rapid fire, so these are the scroll ones. Mac macros if you want to set your macros, script, library mm, support and update. And uh, well, when you install the software, you gotta make sure this, this setting lock it has to be unchecked, otherwise. It's it's always going to be going back to default so basically you set the you just move around this the motion sensitivity like if, if this is locked and you restart the computer or re close the software and you open it again it's going to be back to default mode or it's going to be way here when you install it it's going to be there so if you don't want like if you just want your 
to have the setting like this every time you restart the computer or every time you open up the CM Storm software you basically have to uncheck on here so it's very important a lot of people complain about it so uh, that's about it so so this is the CM Storm setting overall uh, it's a good mouse no uh, I don't I can't really say much about it but it has a lot of features it's not expensive cost me around 40 pound mm. well that's about it so thank you for watching this video thank you